New Zealand's strongest wind gust was 250 kilometres per hour. The strongest in the world was 372. Get it there. Well, we've got a few new things lined up for you tonight. We've got a new show and a slightly new presenting style. The new show, that was all planned. The altered presenting style with my left arm. My left arm, that wasn't planned, but neither was falling off my mountain bike and breaking my shoulder. But like the weather, these things are sent to test us, so let's give it a crack tonight, shall we? And first up, we'll show you our new time-lapse webcams. Look at it. I'm ahead of myself already. There we go. New view on Queenstown today, a dusting of snow on Cecil Peak, but a mainly clear day and just a few late afternoon rogue showers. Got time lapses all around the country coming for you over the next few days. The sat map shows us the uh, lumpy cold shower cloud down here, which brought the snow, the dusting of snow, to the lower southern ranges. There's a fresh southwesterly flow sliding right further north tomorrow. Everyone will feel that. This rain band from the North Island that moves well offshore and leaving clearer, calmer weather to come in from the Tasman. It's a bit like writing backwards in a mirror You've using my left hand, so uh, bear with me. Here we go for our new look feature is our temperature spread. Nice, isn't it, John? See, he does care. Uh, along with the wind arrows and our colour scale out through there, we'll be able to show you how the uh, day is going to feel. Just a quick glance, and there's no surprise that there's plenty of cold wind and uh, temperatures around the South Island tonight. I'll just click that because it's not moving. Little click of things too. It's going to be the little things tonight, so bear with us. In the North Island, things stay fairly cool as well. That's still got to give it a good click. There you go. <clears throat> Should have practiced in my time off three weeks off and still can't click. In the North Island, it's going to be even cooler through there, not warming up much at all. Let's have a look in the South Island and uh, a few fringe showers out through here, highlighted by our new puddling effect. Along with the colour scale, that's going to show the intensity and spread of the rainfall, the forecast rainfall with a lot more accuracy, but unfortunately, imagine, there's not a lot of it anywhere for a fine fresh day in the South Island tomorrow. In the North Island, cooler and clearer situation up through here as well. Um, there's one or two skiffs of rain out through here in the west that aren't even registering on the puddle meter, the puddle meter, but the only ones that will will be along this eastern side through the afternoon. Let's take it into the regionals then and up top, and there's a few new things for you here as well. We've got the main cities added into the regions along with the wind arrows and some real-time wind data, just a little bit, uh, rain data rather, just a little bit up through there, but it's a fine fresh day, neither of many of those tomorrow. Tauranga, you're the new addition into this region. Fine and sunny from the get-go, except for Tokoroa, but that falls into line with the rest with fine weather by midday. Up and over the ranges we go, and uh, the cool southwesters keep a few showers down along these lower towns for starters, but finer through the day. Things getting a lot better. Wind, the leaning wind letters, they've all gone. We've now got uh, these bars showing the wind strength. None for calm, one for light, and two for moderate. You'll get used to it. You'll see a pattern developing as we go up over to the other side. And uh, Wellington and Wanganui, they're the only showery spots for starters tomorrow morning. But again, the day gets brighter and clearer as it goes. A nice day to welcome in Kapiti Coast into the fold. Heading south and on to the west coast, and it's welcome to Hokitika, where there's a few morning showers around there and most other places. But again, they'll be done and dusted pretty much by late morning we're picking. Best time of the day through the afternoon. On the eastern side, get set for a frosty, fine and fresh one. Uh, zeros, ones and twos, that'll kick off your day. The good thing is it stays calm. Things don't warm up too much, but it stays calm. That's important. And heading south, the westlies bring some showery westlies into Invercargill. No worries at all if you're inland with a bit of shelter and those winds just get uh, quite a bit stronger through the day on the coast. One of our other fresh features is going to be the marine scenes. Tomorrow we've chosen some locations along the eastern side here which are open to the exposed southerly. Those switch through into the afternoon data. The swell's not too much at all you can see because it's just a light southerly. We'll have a few more locations for those for you tomorrow as well. And as we click through into our very next scene, it's going from the coast to well inland with our first light location of the new show. And it's St Bathans in central Otago. The weather there is going to be fine, fresh and frosty. Let us know what your town is. We'll zoom in. We can like that one too. Like, nice. And here we go. We're taking it urban. We're still taking it urban, but uh, a lot less uh, urban cities this time. It's all on one page is what I'm trying to say. That means you get more of what you want to see and less of what you don't. And tomorrow there's only a few showers around in Hamilton and Wellington. Pretty good day if you're travelling between the cities. Let's move on into 
the next three days. And cold showers come back through the lower South Island, one or two up through here. It's going to be best out east. But that changes on Thursday as the cool southerlies bring those showers right up onto the eastern coast into the North Island. Better still for Friday. These showers all clear. West is the spot to be. Whew, I feel like a cup of tea and a lie down. Um, thanks for bearing with us. We'll have a, another situation to show you tomorrow. Mike and Hillary. Thank you so much. Well done. Yeah.